Hello everyone, Tina here. I'm back again to share a project with you. Happy Monday to you all. Today we're playing with pattern paper. We're using the Photo Play Papers Fresh Pick 2 collection pack. Um, I have the ephemera that coordinates with it. And then I thought we would create some 5x7 cards today. Um, I There's cut aparts in this collection pack that work perfect with 5x7 cards. And I'm also going to stuff some recipes in my card project today. So if you have some favorite recipes, this card project is for you. Um, I'll be using the Fresh Pick 2 recipe cards. The nice thing about this is there are six recipe cards in there. Three and three. They're, these three are the same as three, three. They're, they're just... Um, switched places but on the back side plenty of room to write your recipes you just trim them into six pieces and you have some recipes so I'm going to use three in one card and three in another I'll put my favorite recipes in there I think it's a great way my sisters are always asking for my banana nut bread recipe and I thought well this is a great way to do that so I thought we'd create some five by seven cards we're going to pick out some pattern papers and we're going to get started I went ahead and picked out some pattern papers. Um, they're 12 by 12 normally. I just trimmed mine in half, but I'm gonna be using the Herb Garden. I just think that's so pretty. I'm also gonna be using Country Flowers, which is this one. And then I'm also gonna be using Lemon Twist. Look how fun this is. And I'm also gonna use the reverse side of Lemon Twist, okay? Since we're making five by seven cards, I'm going to be using some cut aparts for my card today. Great way to create 5x7 cards is using the larger cut aparts. Now, if you make an A2 size card, the 3x4 are perfect for that. But this one here and this one here, we're going to be trimming out and using on our card today. While I'm trimming these out, I'm also going to trim out all six of my recipes. And basically, you just trim down the middle and then trim into thirds and you'll get six recipe cards. I'm going to go ahead and do that, trim down some pattern papers and I'll be right back. I trimmed down my pattern papers and I created my card base. This is a five by seven card base. We're actually going to make it landscape so I we're going to open and close it like this. And then we have our cut apart and we also have our recipes. Ideally, you'd want to fill these in for the card. Um, but I just think this is going to be such a nice little gift and a card. I love making those. We're going to start by taking our largest piece of pattern paper. This is a 5 by 7 sheet. I'm going to flip this around. We're going to put some adhesive behind here. I'm going to attach this to the front of my card base. Such a refreshing pattern. <laughs> this will be good for um, putting a recipe in there for like a lemon cream pie or some lemon tart cookies or um, some lemon bars. All of those recipes would be really good for this card. Okay, now I also have an, a slightly smaller piece of pattern paper. This measures six and a quarter inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall. What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna mat our cut apart directly on this so we have a little bit of that polka dot border peeking out. I'm going to go ahead and add this. And this is going to, you see how that fits just, it just frames it. I just think that's wonderful. It frames our 5x7 card beautifully. Okay, these pieces here, before we continue on with the front of our card, I'm going to open up my card base and we have these pieces here. This is a 1 and 3 quarter inch by 7 inch strip of pattern paper. Okay, what I'm going to do is take my glue. I'm using glue because I just want a thin strip along the left, along the bottom edge, and then along the right. And then I'll take this, I'm going to tack this down on the inside of my card base. This is going to create a pocket for my recipes. 
after we have this adhered, I have a strip of our green pattern paper. This is a one by seven inch strip. We're gonna tack this right down the middle. Actually, I take that back. We're gonna tack this a quarter inch up from our pattern paper. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this pattern paper. This is a three quarter inch tall by seven inch wide piece of pattern paper. And I'm gonna add this down the middle of that green paper. Wonderful, and then our recipes will slide right in there, like so. We're gonna close this up, and I'm gonna take some twine, and I, I always like texture on my cards, so I'm gonna bring in some twine. I'm gonna wrap it around a couple times, and then I'm gonna tie a bow here off to the left. Now that we have our bow tied, I put some foam and some glue behind this panel. We're gonna add this to the front of our card. I used pop-up foam because this way, it adds a little bit of, since it is a big card, it adds a little bit of stability. I went through my ephemera and I found this wood recipe it's, it's exactly the same size as this in this corner, but I'm going to add a little bit of a border around it. So I trimmed out a circle that was just a little bit larger. What we're going to do is mat these two together. Once we have this adhered, I'm gonna bring in the sticker sheet and we're gonna add some stickers. There are lots of fun stickers in here. And since we have an open book, I think I wanna cover this up with a few of our lemons here. So I'm gonna pop up both of the lemon stickers here. We'll add a few stickers on this side, and I think I'm gonna add a pot holder. Before I add my whisk, I did, I went back through the cut aparts, and what I wanna do is trim out From our kitchen with love. I'm gonna trim out a couple of these sentiments here. So I trimmed out from our kitchen with love. I'm gonna put some foam tape behind here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this. I'm gonna do a sticker surgery and I'm gonna trim my whisk in half. And then I'll remove the release paper off of the foam tape. And I'm gonna tuck the top end of my whisk under my greeting, and then I'll take the bottom and we'll continue it. We're gonna stretch that sticker. So it looks like it's tucked in there. <laughs> now we're gonna add a little bit of sparkle We're gonna add a few gems. So now we have a little bit of sparkle. And then to finish off the card, I'm loving the way this looks and it's really not too bulky, but when you open this up, I thought we would add a couple couple little tickets here.
that we could add to the inside using our ephemera. And then I have a real small paper clip that we can add these two. And let's add a banner. I saw some banners in here. You can add a banner, kind of tucking it with the recipes. And there's plenty of room up here to make a, a, create a message. But I thought that would be really cute. So that's card number one. I'm going to go ahead and, and put this off to the side and we're going to bring in the elements for card number two. For card number two, I again have a five by seven sheet of pattern paper. We're going to adhere this to our five by seven landscape star, uh, card. And then I have the opposite of the lemon pattern paper. We're going to create a mat for behind this cut apart sheet. Now for this one, I'm gonna bring in some twine and I'm gonna wrap it around this side a couple times. And then we're gonna tie a bow towards the top for this card. And that's the front of our card. I'm gonna open up my card and we're gonna do the same thing we did with our first card. I'm gonna add a thin bead of glue along the left and the right and the, and the bottom. And then we're going to tack this down on the inside of our card. Well, we can go to all the way. We're going to go all the way to the top with this. I have a little bit overhanging, so I will trim that off. So we have that pocket. Now, I did notice in our sticker sheet, we have a real pretty lacy border. I'm going to go ahead and take this border and we're going to add this on the inside of our card. Now I will trim away this. So we have a nice scalloped edge on the inside. Okay, we're going to keep our sticker sheet out. And for this card, I think I'm going to use the Bon Appetit with our ephemera pack. I like the way that's shaped. And I'm going to add some foam squares behind here and we'll pop it up and place it over here. We'll add our Bon Appetit and then let's add some stickers. I, you know, I don't know what it is about colanders, but I love them. <laughs> I, so I'm going to add a colander or a strainer to our card here. And I do want, I, what I love is you have some time. I always need a little extra time. We have some time. <laughs> we have some sage. We have some rosemary. And I think I'll add some rosemary here. We will add a little bit of rosemary. And I think I'm going to add the fork and the spoon to this card. What I like to do is kind of crisscross them. And I'm going to put some foam tape behind here and we're going to add these. Now before we add our fork and our spoon, I'm going to go ahead and take one of our ephemera pieces and I'm going to put this right across the bottom here. So I'm going to need to add foam adhesive just to the left and to the right and I can use my tape runner here. And then I will go ahead and add my utensils. And I left a gap between the middle here so I can overlap it on the end. We're going to add a little sparkle using those same gems. Oops. And then That will finish off the front of this card. 
I love the way this looks. And again, this is not too bulky either. And when you open it up, you have a real pretty pocket. You could even put some stickers on the inside if you want it to. And then you can add your recipes. We would just slide those in there. Like so. And then if you want to put some more ephemera to add a little color to your recipes, I have a real small paper clip. You can just add a paper clip on the inside with that. You can even use some stickers in here if you wanted to, to add a little bit of flair to your recipe cards too. But that will finish off that card. And that finishes off both my projects today using the photo play papers. Super fun fresh pick two 12 by 12 collection pack. We're using cut aparts, ephemera, and stickers on our cards today. And when you open them up, you have a fun gift to give. This would be a great little gift for a neighbor um, or just to send to somebody who loves your cooking. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.